Hi, I'm Al Leiter, two-time World Series champion. I pitched for both the Mets and the Yankees, and now I'm an analyst at the MLB Network and the Yankees Yes Network. Like you, I'm from Ocean County. I grew up in Berkeley Township, and I went to Central Regional High School. The Ocean County Prosecutor's Office is committing to doing all it can to help keep Ocean County a safe place to live and raise a family. One issue facing this community is the use and abuse of controlled dangerous substances. These drugs poison the young people in our county and cause disruption in the family lives of so many of our friends and neighbors. And these consequences can and often do happen quickly, even after only one time. Drugs and alcohol do not discriminate. They do not care where you live. They are not concerned about what you do for a living or how much money you make. Despite these facts, drug overdoses continue to take the lives of too many Ocean County residents. Yet sometimes people think they can beat it or that they can just use them recreationally or socially. Reality shows us that this is simply not true. Drugs, especially heroin and prescription medication, are extremely addictive. So please help keep our community safe by discarding unused prescription medication and speaking to your children about the dangers of drugs and alcohol. And please do not use drugs, not even one time. It was just one time that got me hooked for life. I knew drugs could be a death sentence. Drugs, especially heroin, are a death sentence. I saw it change my friends. I knew it was changing me. I knew I was rolling the dice with my life. I didn't know heroin would change me like it did. I didn't know how hard it would be on my family, my friends. I saw how it changed others. No, I'd rather not. I do. Just weed. It's just this one time. It's just a party. Hey, Jeremy, can I have a light? <laughs> for the bag. It's usually 20 for a pill. Just try it. It's not going to make you a junkie. Hey, you'll be happy you took something because now your mom won't fight with you too. Okay, I guess. Just this once. I saw others become addicted. I didn't think anyone cared about them. About me. 
And after a while, it didn't matter whether I died or not. My life was over. Jason, come back! We can talk about this! No. How could you tell him to leave? Football. College. A girlfriend? Yo, listen up! You guys look for something a little different? Once the high takes over your life, you lose all that. You get rundown hotel rooms. Bro, stealing. Just to find your next fix. And friends who didn't care whether I lived or died. Bro, he's not breathing. He's not. Bro. We gotta get out of here, man. We gotta go. time at a party led to every day. Sometimes more than once per day. I was left for dead in the street. I didn't think that just one time at a party would kill me. Just one time, and I was hooked for life. My son! Your parents truly do want what's best for you. And if you feel like you can't go to them, go to somebody else. Get help. Don't let fear or anxiety or loneliness send you down a pathway for drugs. Get help. There's no such thing as just once or just for fun. If you're using drugs or drinking, you need to talk to someone. You can't get in trouble for talking to someone. If you don't, it will get worse. And then it will be too late. I thought I was alone. I was surrounded by a hundred people, but I thought I was alone. You are not alone. She was my best friend. I didn't think I was a drug dealer. I just thought she needed to have fun and I thought I was helping her. You know, it's one thing being here, convicted as a drug dealer. <laughs> but what I did to my best friend, I have to live with that. Once you start with drugs, the chances of you trying it just once, or stopping when you want, are low. If you don't die, you'll, your life will be forever changed. Your friends and family will look at you differently. I thought I could just go to parties and avoid the weed or pills or whatever, but once you're addicted, it's different. You can't just hang out anymore. I only smoked weed a few times at parties, but I saw how it changed me. Friends started trying to give me pills. I knew that wasn't the life I wanted. I got help. I lost a few friends. My real friends, and especially my parents, were amazing. I felt alone before. Now life has really changed, and I'm really happy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy. Towards the end of my using, um, I had went to heroin and crack cocaine. Um, I was living in a hotel room right down the street from all of my family, but I could have been in California for all they knew because they never saw me. I didn't come around, um, and uh, it owned me, it ruled my life. Uh, I was wherever it was. I was alone in a hotel room, uh, like, please don't look at me. Please don't talk to me. Um, I'm not really a person, you know? Like, really, I did not think I was like a normal person. I was okay with dying in that hotel room, to be honest, because walking outside that door scared me so much because I knew what my life had become. I had went in and out of rehab probably from like 19 to 21. And um, that was when I had started catching charges. I would come out and it would get worse. And I would get in trouble with the law. 
And it wasn't until I had no choice but to sit in jail that I realized I needed to make a change. The final time I used, I had a court date pending and um, I woke up that morning and I did, I got high and I couldn't stop getting high. And I was late for the court date and it was summertime out and I was meeting my mother at the courthouse because she hadn't seen me in weeks. And uh, I had long sleeves on and I showed up and I was a mess. And my mom was like, why do you have long sleeves on? But the truth of the matter was, is I had long sleeves on because my arms had track marks all up and down them. And um, I, my face was all broken out and I probably hadn't showered in a good couple weeks. <laughs> And um, I showed up to the courtroom, and by the grace of God, the judge at the time didn't let me walk out of that courtroom that day. So they mandated me to jail without a bail, and those first 24 hours, all I could think about, not my family, not what I had done to my family, or that they weren't gonna see me for a substantial amount of time, all I could think about was, I'm going to be so sick in this cell, in this cement room, and no one or anything can help me at this point. If I didn't show up that day, I probably would have never made another court date, never saw my family again, because that was the road I was taking. Like, I was ready to run, go far away, and uh, hopefully everyone would just forget who I was. I wish I would no have known the pain and the horrible things that I had to deal with because of my addiction when I was 14. When you have that gut feeling, because I always could remember having that gut feeling, like knowing it was wrong and still doing it anyway, just don't do it. Hi, my name is Joe Coronado, the Ocean County Prosecutor. I'd like to thank everybody who's involved in this production. This video is being produced so that we could save a life. You could see the two different teenagers used this very road and took different paths. Every decision that you make may lead to a different outcome. Make sure you use the right road.